Good evening, everyone. He is Tom Gallarder. I am your host, Caleb No. This is FC Cincinnati Weekly. Tommy, a historic pace right now in a historic yeah. season, not just for FC Cincinnati, but in terms of the history of Major League Soccer. 36 points, 15 games into the season for FC Cincinnati. They are rolling right now. What a week, right? Uh, knowing three of four matches were going to be on the road and starting with back-to-back -back in tough conditions. Altitude in Colorado, yeah. tiny little mini pitch on a baseball field <laughs> in New York City at Yankee Stadium. And FC Cincinnati gets six points out of both. This team just finds a way. They had some injuries. They're missing some guys. They had a suspension. There are endless storylines with what is going on with FC Cincinnati. We have, what, a half an hour tonight? Uh, yeah. It may not be we'll enough time, my friend. <laughs> we'll try to keep it packed into there. we got two games to talk about here. Let's start with Wednesday night's match yep. at New York City FC. New York City attacking early. It looked like they got an early lead but the goal was disallowed. Yeah, absolutely. We thought they scored first. They would have been just the second team this season to score first against FC Cincinnati. The celebration was on, and then a little bit of confusion. Was there an offside? No, there was a foul. Watch here. The push in the back from Seagal on Yersin Mascara. So, go back to nil-nil. Here's the driven ball to Alvaro Barrio. So strong in holding off the defender. Draws it back. Baji, first touch wasn't there, but then he pokes it to Luciano Acosta, who on his birthday tallies the go-ahead goal. And the mature move from Dom there to say, look, I, you know, maybe I could have had a shot if my first touch was in a different spot. I'm going to tee it up. Just put it on a platter for our captain, Luciano Acosta. Yeah, and the captain puts it where the goalkeeper can't get to it. Yeah, First frozen. start of the year for Matt Freeze in goal. First start for New York City. He had some, seen some time previously with Philadelphia. Then this set piece. And Woo! let's flip it over to the other Argentine, <laughs> Alvaro Barrial. This has to be the goal of the week in Major League Soccer. What a rocket off his left foot. I saw he stepped up to it and just like there was no doubt where yeah. he was putting that off the crossbar and into the net. Every now and then, I said this uh, on TV a few nights ago, every now and then Alvaro Barrial does something where you're just like, holy cow, what what yeah. did I just see? Caleb, he's having an all-star-like season. If you had to send FC Cincinnati players to the all-star game today, Alvaro was on my list. New York draws one back five minutes later, and okay, Everybody, heart tightens up a little bit. Everyone's a little bit yeah, more it's been a focus tense. For Pat right. Noonan, like we got to play better with leads. Yeah, absolutely. And look, they've been good in protecting the one goal sure. leads because nine of 11 wins now have been by one goal. But fighting for an opportunity, Yerson Mascara going for the ball. He is fouled right there on the end line. But the match official doesn't call it a penalty. The VAR feels there's a clear and obvious error. This was a lengthy review, and Kevin and I debated, but there's no doubt a foul. And if there's a foul, you have to award the penalty. Well, during that review, the captain, Luciano Acosta, goes up to Brandon Vasquez and says, I'm not taking it. You are taking it, my friend. Why is that? Go get yourself a goal. Brandon needs some confidence. He's been struggling to find goals a little bit. That is Luciano Acosta being a captain at the very highest level. It was really good to see because there was no knock. Sometimes that's why you wouldn't take a penalty, right? You pick up a knock on the play. But that wasn't the case. Instead, Lucho decided to be a captain. He decided that Brandon got to get a goal on his birthday. So he gave out a gift on his birthday. <laughs> and Brandon Vasquez gets the exclamation point. Everybody exhaled a little bit. FC Cincinnati made some subs, and they closed out the 3-1 victory. A two-goal win for FC yeah. Cincinnati. Yeah, look, during this incredible stretch, FC Cincinnati has been able to play a lot of different players. They've been yeah. able to tweak the lineup, and they've still kept this winning streak alive. Coach Noonan spoke after the game Wednesday night about how that makes his job easier. I think we're in a position now where there's so much trust and, and confidence in the group that we can just think about, all right, how do we go about trying to have success against New York City. T tough team to play against in a, in a tough venue. And then uh, if we need rotation uh, in, in the next game, um, we have a, a group of guys that we feel very confident with that um, we'll have guys ready to step up. And that's kind of um, been the case during the, you know, the initial part of, of this busy stretch. Tommy, I mentioned the historic nature of where FC yeah. Cincinnati's at right now in the course of this season. They are literally just firing on all cylinders right they now. They are. And, and look, there hasn't been heavy rotation, but there are, have been guys that have changed. Nick Haglin has missed the last two games. They haven't missed a beat without Nick in there. What I love about Pat Noonan, and I said this on the air on Wednesday night, is that he takes it game by game. It wasn't look at the three matches across the course of the week. It was get through Colorado. 
get through New York City. Then we'll evaluate what we have for Chicago after they get through Chicago. They'll evaluate what they have for the Open Cup against Pittsburgh. So last weekend before the uh, New York game, FC Cincinnati went out to the rarefied air of Colorado to take on the Rapids. We spoke about it last week. Yep. I asked you if the altitude was an issue. It's never easy to go out there and no, play. No, it's type not. Of and, condition. and at times, look, it, it looked difficult for FC Cincinnati, and they, they seemed to tire a bit, but they were the better team on this night. And they only won one nil, but guess what? That's all they needed on this night. So FC Cincinnati came out. They had opportunities. Roman Salentano had to make some really big saves to keep the clean sheet in this match. But FC Cincinnati kept on battling. And guess who it was once they finally found the goal? We'll get to that highlight here in a minute. But the chances were there, and it was the former Colorado Rapids guy. That's right. Dom Baji, a guy who has fought to be in the starting lineup. He has found his opportunity, and he finds a decisive strike in this match. And that was really fun to see. Yeah, you saw some misses there from uh, Vasquez and Acosta, some close misses. FC Cincinnati had opportunities. They had shots on goal, weren't able to find the net until uh, right at 33 yep. minutes into the match. Yeah, and it's Don Baji, and you see the heart. He didn't celebrate, and I knew he wasn't going to celebrate if he got the goal. He was actually oh, well. my pregame guest, and that's what he said afterwards. The, the Rapids fans were great to him. He's very much a community guy. He's been that way here in Cincinnati as well. Uh, he's as nice as they come. Love chatting with Dom. And to finally get that first goal in orange and blue and do it against his former team, it ends up being the game winner. But uh, needed a little help Ooh, from the woodwork yeah. there because Roman did get beat once, but his best friend, the post, was there. And, and Roman had to make some big saves in this match. And when he had to make the saves, he answered the bell. I mean, that's a great rip right there, yeah. too. We talked about another thing we talked about last week. One thing I mentioned was it felt sort of like a trap game in a way. You're, you're, you're. Uh, you're playing a lot of games in a mm -hmm. short period of time. A Colorado team that's not played well recently. You're playing in that, alt at that altitude. You'll take the one nothing win if you're FC Cincinnati. And, and Pat doesn't believe in that track game, right? He, uh -huh. he, again, what I was just talking about, it's one game at a time. So there's no trap if you're not looking ahead to the next game. If yeah. you're not looking ahead to Columbus, then Montreal can't be a trap game. And if you're not looking ahead to New York City, then Colorado's not going to be a trap game. Yeah. And this team doesn't make excuses. Uh, when they went to St. Louis, their only loss of the year, were the conditions great? No. Was there a long delay? Yes. Did they get their butts whooped that night? Sure thing. But nobody was making excuses about everything else, and, and that's the reason why. That's what happened. That's their one loss. But they've gone on the road now in back-to-back -back games to start this crazy stretch of three of four on the road, and now they get to come home with six points. It's a, it's a perfect yeah. scenario. I don't want to be that guy that looks back and says, oh, that loss is a good thing, but maybe going out there – Finding out that you're human, you can't yeah. be beat like that. Maybe it's not all bad when you look back at that scenario. After that Colorado match, Coach Noonan talked about Dom Baji and his contributions to the team. Dom finally got his reward with that very important game-winning goal. Really happy for Dom. You know, it's, it's a long time coming. Uh, you know, with what he does for our group and what he means to our group, you, you want to see guys like that rewarded. Um, and, and tonight was... Um, you know, certainly a, a good time for him to get that goal. Yeah, great to see Dom get his reward for his hard work. And for me, it's seeing how he has uh, been able to fit into what this team is doing the last several weeks. You know, Brenner is, is all but gone at this yeah. point. Um, he's been able to fill in, you know, Sergio Santos is going to be yeah. a key player, but he's hurt right now. Yeah, absolutely. So someone had to step in, right? Someone has to play alongside Brandon Vasquez. And Dom has done that, and he's contributed in each game. He's been unselfish in some situations where, remember, he didn't have that first goal in Del Colorado, but he set up some goals. Mm -hmm. He set up a goal on Wednesday night. Uh, so, look, uh, you saw that pass to Luciano Acosta when we were talking about the New yeah. York City win. And uh, it's been impressive the way that he has stepped in and been able to contribute because they absolutely need him in there alongside Brandon Vasquez right now. So we talk about the offense there. Let's talk some about the defense. Roman yeah. Celentano and the defense, they've been huge this year. They notched another clean sheet against Colorado last week. Uh, Tommy, I say they because it's a team effort. And look, as, as a former keeper myself, I know the confidence you feel when your defense as a unit is playing well. I can only imagine that's reciprocated when your keeper is playing as well as Roman Celentano has. It's got to feel good for that unit as a whole. Yeah, no doubt. Look, he has seven clean sheets on the year. And a couple of those early ones, there was like one or two easy saves. I remember the Orlando game, I think he said he just caught a ball out of the air and was like, well, I didn't do much. My defense <laughs> did it, right? They earned a clean sheet even yeah. if it ends up on my stat line. Yeah. And, and that's the kind of guy that, that Roman is. But 
you got to give Roman all the credit in the world because he's been fantastic and he's been forced to make some really big saves these last few games. I mean, let's go back to Columbus, right? We talked about it last week. He made that massive save of the death. Then he made big saves in the Colorado match. He had to make big saves in the New York City match. And Roman Celentano right now, for my money, is one of the best goalkeepers in all of Major League Soccer. All right, we want to give a shout out to the away supporters, the FCC Mafia, if you will. Colorado, not a short trip. The orange and blue had some fans in the stands at Dick's Sporting Goods Park in Denver last Saturday. Yeah, where you go, they will follow, right? Is that the, <laughs> is that the saying? Uh, they had them in Colorado. They had them at Yankee Stadium. I've heard of some who are planning to be in Vancouver for that road match on, on June 10th. And that's what's beautiful ab about this supporters group of, of FC Cincinnati and about these passionate fans. Every match is sold out. It's Saturday is sold out. Tomorrow is sold out at TQL Stadium. But if you can't get a ticket there, they're finding a way to go somewhere else. And, and there's people all over. I was, uh, you know, DMing with a fan in Canada the other day. He was asking me to send him some gear. So, look, uh, there are people across the country that are rooting for this team, and it, yeah. it's so awesome to see. Why not? A lot to root for right now. It's been one week since we sat here and we talked about FC Cincinnati on this set. They've got two wins in that time. Now Chicago gets set to come to town. Let's take a look at our match preview brought to you by Tri-State GMC Buick. The fire coming to TQL Stadium, not in the best form, settling right. for a nil-nil draw this week with Toronto, but they have been getting points. Eight draws to go with their three wins. Chicago is 12th in the standings but they're only four points away from sixth place. Yeah, absolutely. Look, the middle of the Eastern Conference is very cluttered. Yeah. If you win a game or two, you could shoot right up those standings. Now, remember, Cincinnati last year. Yeah, exactly situation. right. Uh, but Chicago is a team that uh, they let their coach go. So they're looking for a little bit of a, a bump with Frank Kloppis coming in. And, uh, you know, Ezra Hendrickson's time came to an end. These two teams played, remember, on that really cold night in March, early in the season, it was week four. And it was a 3-3 draw, but Luciano Costa didn't start that match. When he came in, it was completely different with Lucho in that game. And he's going like an Energizer buddy, Bunny right now. So I would expect that we see Lucho start this one uh, against Chicago. But FC Cincinnati will be ready to go. Uh, they've been so good at home this year. And it should be a really fun atmosphere with another sellout crowd. Uh, can we get a look yeah, at the jersey Yeah, let's go. Here? It's Pride yeah. Night. That's so, what they're going to be wearing. Yeah, the they'll have here. the uh, special um, Love Unites tops uh, for Major League Soccer. So they'll be worn by different teams throughout the month of June on the different Pride Nights at, at home games. That is Pride Night at home at TQL Stadium tomorrow. So I'm really looking forward to it. It'll be great to see the guys uh, supporting the cause. All right. You can listen to Tommy and his partner, Kevin McCluskey, on the radio, ESPN 1530 during the games or on iHeartRadio. Don't forget, switch over to Kevin and Tommy when you're watching on Apple TV if FC Cincinnati is at home. You can listen to the hometown boys with the call. Just click those three little dots at the bottom corner of the screen and choose home radio. Thanks again, Tommy, for coming out, man. Always a pleasure, my Stop man. Stop by any time and more bringing those wins. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Still to come in the show, Roman Celentano. We talked about him. He's already set a new team record for clean sheets in a season this year, and we are not even halfway through the MLS season. After the break, we'll sit down with the FC Cincinnati goalkeeper. When a drug you're testing might change the world, it doesn't feel like work. When the data might add up to a better life for millions of patients, there's real meaning in crunching the numbers. When a clinical trial signals a safe and effective medical option, you know your work matters. And when you want to work alongside some of the brightest minds in biotech, then MedPace is where you belong. If you want to make a difference tomorrow, join us today. Visit medpace.com careers. Of course, the GMC Terrain offers all-wheel drive mode. What about supernova mode or weekend warrior mode? You don't see that everyday mode. How about out of the office mode or even... Are you out of your mind? ...mode. Want a mode for everything? GMC Terrain. Step up to GMC with 1.9% APR and no monthly payments for 90 days on 2023 Terrain models. Being Friday, everyone's looking forward to the weekend. Skyline's a good way to kind of kick that off. It's the appropriate occasion for a Friday lunch. People are like talking about it like all week. Are you going to Skyline on Friday? <laughs> yeah, I'll be there. When we stand up, everyone knows, all right, it's Skyline time, time to go. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you smell the chili and you hear the crowd and they're having a good time. It's a relaxed atmosphere. Everyone enjoys Skyline. Skyline Mondays and Tuesdays and Wednesdays yeah. definitely happen as yeah. well. We love it every time we go. When you think banker, you think dress shoes. At First Financial, we think your shoes and walking a mile in them. It's how we put you first. Understanding what your business needs 
to take the next step or what you need to give your finances a solid footing. Because while banking can happen here, our relationships are made out here. A bank that makes you feel like number one. That's first. First! Welcome back everybody to FC Cincinnati Weekly. One of the biggest improvements on this year's FC Cincinnati team has been the defense. Even when I spoke to Pat Noonan earlier this year, he told me that was one of the most pleasantly surprising things that he's seen in his team this season. Defense is a team effort, but somebody has to be the last line of that defense, and that would be goalkeeper Roman Celentano. Here is our ProLink player profile. I first got involved in soccer around 10 years old. I grew up playing other sports like football, baseball, basketball, but in around fifth grade, one of my friends decided not to play football one fall and wanted to play soccer, so I kind of just joined him in that endeavor, and I kind of hopped in goal from there and stayed in goal ever since, so I never really messed around on the field. I was kind of always a goalie. Strike against Celentano, makes the save, the rebound is there, Celentano knocks it away. I always just felt like whatever sport I was playing growing up, I was going to make it in that sport. Uh, I never really thought I would do anything else in my life other than play a sport. So when I started playing soccer, I just thought I'm going to do whatever I can to play soccer professionally for money, even if that means I'll play like whatever in the Faroe Islands or in Denmark or USL League Two and also working the night like night shifts at whatever. I didn't really care what it was as long as I was playing soccer, I'd be happy. Into the box, headed down to the four post. Selling title swat. Piece of advice, uh, my goalkeeper coach right now, Paul Rogers, still tells me before every game is just be you. Like, you can try to play a certain way, you can try to do certain things within the game, try to, and however you want to put it, but at the end of the day, you can only just do what you can do and you can only be yourself. So I just try to tell myself that all the time when I'm trying to do something I'm not, you know, comfortable doing, just to be myself, and that'll help me do the best that I can do. I like you know, going on walks, listening to podcasts, learning different things. Obviously, soccer is my profession, so I try to maximize my minutes with that. But when I'm not on the field or doing stuff outside, I just like to just switch off my mind and learn about something else. The most memorable moment of my career so far is probably winning the first playoff game that FC Cincinnati had in New York. I would say it was a really cool moment for the team, showing like you know what we all the work we put in all year going to that game, you know, a lot of pressure and then getting the win as well and then coming back from the game, uh, landing at the airport, having hundreds of fans there cheering us on. It was a great moment for, for me personally. Well, TQL Stadium isn't just for match days. It's the perfect backdrop for your next upscale or casual event, home to seven different club spaces. There's a perfect spot for any event of 15 or even up to 1,000 plus guests. Complimentary event with stadium tours, a Gary the mascot visit. That sounds cool. Full service event management, seasonal menu offerings, and on-site AV equipment. Come join us at what was named the best venue of 2022 by the World Football Summit. For more information on availability and booking, contact private events at FCCincinnati.com. FC Cincinnati Weekly. We'll be right back. Frisch's has been making craveable American classics since 1947, like Frisch's Classic Big Boy and Super Big Boy Burgers, each one piled high with crispy lettuce, crunchy pickles, two fresh, never frozen all beef patties, topped with American cheese and our famous tartar sauce. Oh, the tartar sauce. It doesn't get much better than this, or does it? Try the Big Boy with fries and a drink, or make it a Super Big Boy with fries and a drink. Stop by or order online at Frisch's.com, DoorDash, or Uber Eats. Frisch's, everyone's favorite. Are you ready to help move medicine forward? CTICRC, a local clinical research center, is looking for adults 18 and older to participate in a chemo-induced peripheral neuropathy study. If you've experienced neuropathy with breast, colorectal, or gynecological cancers, you may qualify for this study. All study-related care will be provided at no cost and insurance is not necessary. Qualified participants may be compensated up to $3,175 for their time and travel. Call or visit ctifacts.com to learn more. Stacy! I'm the sizzle of this promposal. Tonight, Stacey! sparks are gonna fly. Hey, Stacy! Kyle? And while Romeo over here is trying to look cool, things are about to heat up. Uh-oh. Darn it, Kyle! And if you don't have the right home insurance coverage, you're getting a pain for this yourself. Sorry, Mr. Sanchez. So get all state. You'll be better protected from mayhem, like me. That's a hard note.
Well, FC Cincinnati has had a busy schedule the past few weeks, and they've been crushing it. FC Cincinnati, too, has been busy as well. Let's take a look at what's happening with the second squad. Guys, we ready? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. You guys ready? Yes, sir. All right, listen, be smart today, right? Don't work harder, work smarter. Okay, we'll talk about that. Okay, that's all I need from you guys. Again, put the effort in, and let's come back in half time, and let's see if we make some adjustment, and we can uh, see up the game and get the result. All right, guys? Yes, yeah. boys. All right, well, let's yeah. go. Yeah. 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 season last weekend, FC Cincinnati look to get back to their winning ways at NKU Soccer Stadium tonight as they play host to Atlanta United 2. Tale of two halves, obviously. Um, you know, we spoke about it in the locker room. Uh, we want to start on the front foot. Um, you know, they got an early goal again. You know, we, we're trying to break that trend. We spoke about it last time. Hey, can we have a little bit more creativity? You know, some more imagination. And we saw it today. You know, it came out at the end where I think it was Brett broke the defense down, played the ball over the top that like we mentioned the last time. I think Morgan crossed it over for a bench. And the team that stay together will win the penalty shootout. Okay? Stay together. Have belief. Have confidence when we do it, fellas. It's up to you guys. You've dug yourourselves out of a hole. Credit to you. Let's finish the night and enjoy the rest of this, yeah? And then at the end, we, we close it out by getting that uh, victory. Paul was fantastic in the goal for us tonight. So we need the key guys to step up a key moment. And we had that from Ben, Morgan, uh, Brett, and then Paul to finish it off. What's up, FC Cincinnati fans? Hey, FCC fans. This is Kenny Walker. Ben Koenig here. It's incredible to see what the fans and what the city of Cincinnati have built. So best of luck in the Open Cup run. Hope to see you out there at TQL, and uh, good luck. Support the team, uh, and hopefully go for a run, and uh, this time uh, take it home to Cincinnati. Let's go, FCC. You can get tickets to Tuesday's U.S. Open Cup match against Pittsburgh at FCCincinnati.com. Great to see some of those players from that 2017 team that made their own U.S. Open Cup run, showing their support for this year's squad. Remember, U.S. Open Cup games cannot end in a tie. There will be a winner. Could be extra time, possibly another penalty kick shootout. Don't miss out on the action. FC Cincinnati Weekly we will be right back after this. When it hurts to move, what often hurts most is the fact that you can't. Because every rebound is calling your name, and every dance should be danced. It's in moments like these that we step in to help you step back off the sidelines. Because it takes two to tango in this life, and you are meant to be the one. Mercy Health, healthcare for the universe of you. Find an orthopedic doctor at mercy.com slash ortho. I'm looking for someone who cares about my needs. I'm looking for someone who will let me use their charger. Connections Connections, the dating app exclusively for singles who are in your area for two painful hours waiting for their connecting flight. So how's that charger working out for you? Connections Connections, not necessary for those who live the nonstop life. Oh, another connection. We've always gone to Skyline. As soon as we get there, the girls run to make sure that we can get the counter. It's kind of neat for the kids to sit there and watch their food being made. It's like right in front of you, showing kind of like how it's actually done. It's awesome because it's a Skyline thing. Very, very, very awesome. Where else can you go and play and entertain yourself and eat, you know? Nobody has a counter like Skyline. It's just the best. Why do we enforce 
seatbelt laws? Because in real life, you don't get a second chance. Welcome back once again to FC Cincinnati Weekly. Tomorrow's game against the Chicago Fire is officially a sellout. What do you know? Another match at TQL Stadium and another sellout. But if you want to get tickets to see the hottest team in town, you can get tickets to next Tuesday's U.S. Open Cup match and all the other FC Cincinnati MLS games this season, as well as League's Cup matches. That's at FCCincinnati.com. That is our show for this week. Thank you so much for watching. Join us here every Friday night at 7.30 for FC Cincinnati Weekly, the most comprehensive coverage of the orange and blue you're going to find anywhere out there. For our guy Tom Gallarder and the rest of our FC Cincinnati Weekly crew, have a great night and go FC Cincinnati. The fresh timer starts the minute a tomato gets picked. That's why at Kroger, we shorten the time from harvest to home. So no matter how you shop, you'll have more time to enjoy your fresh produce. Kroger, fresh for everyone. When you download the Kroger app, you have easy access to savings every day and get personalized coupons sent straight to your phone. Save big today when you download the Kroger app. Kroger, fresh for everyone. Of course, the GMZ Terrain offers all-wheel drive mode. What about supernova mode or weekend warrior mode? You don't see that everyday mode. How about out of the office mode or even are you out of your mind mode? Want a mode for everything? GMC Terrain. Step up to GMC with 1.9% APR and no monthly payments for 90 days on 2023 Terrain models. I'm your overly competitive brother. Check. Psych. And I'm about to steal this game from you. Just like I stole Kelly Carter in high school, huh? You got no game. Dude, that's a foul! And now you're ready to settle a score. Game over. <laughs> you don't have the right home insurance coverage? Well, you can end up paying for all this yourself. Forget Allstate. It'd be better to protect it from mayhem. Yeah, like me. Thanks, bro. Take a lap, rookie. Real mature. At Mercy Health, we believe your health care should always revolve around you. So these days, it's not just about how we care for you, it's where. Because whether at our place or yours, or wherever your day takes you, we'll be there with compassionate, personalized care. No matter how the world changes, your health will always be our top priority. Mercy Health, primary care for the universe of you. Visit mercy.com to find a doctor near you.